A group of West Country MPs, including the Defence Secretary Liam Fox, is urging the government to put a stop to the national grid's plans for a new network of new electricity pylons. A 37-mile stretch is proposed to carry power across Somerset to Avonmouth, but pressure's mounting for the power cables to go underground. That hill over there is where Webbington is. That's the Wells MP Tessa Munt lives on the edge of the Somerset levels. Now, if the new pylons are built, she'll see them from her garden. But she says this isn't simply an environmental argument. She's joined forces with Conservative MP and Defence Secretary Liam Fox to claim it'll actually be cheaper long term to put the cables underground. At the moment, we lose 6 7% of the energy that's taken from the source to its destination on overhead lines. That energy is lost completely. If we actually put it underground, we'd save 5% of, of that original figure. So actually, the costs are covered by putting them underground. It's long been National Grid's contention that the cost of burying 37 miles of cables from Somerset to Avonmouth would be prohibitively high. But in the face of public opposition, it was prepared to consider other options. What hasn't helped the arguments on either side is that a study on the relative costs of overground versus underground has been plagued by delays, even the company commissioned to do it pulling out. But National Grid insists they will have data available by the end of the year and then they'll be in a position to make a decision. Clinton Rogers, BBC Points West in Somerset.